What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Before I get started, I gotta give a huge shout out to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. If you watched my last video, you saw us purchase this airboat. It's new to us, it's not brand new, it's a used boat, but it's new to us. Luke and I, my eight year old, are getting ready to fill that boat full of supplies and go off all weekend long. Crystal's inside getting ready. We just woke up from the best night of sleep of our lives and that's thanks to Helix Mattress. And I'm gonna tell you about that in just a second. But first I gotta tell you where we're going. Crystal's going to a rodeo in Brighton Indian Reservation. She's gonna work with her girlfriend who owns a clothing line this weekend. Jake's with his mother doing something. I ain't quite sure what they're doing. Luke and I are loading that boat full of fishing poles and shotguns and we're going off on an adventure. But now let me tell you a little bit more about Helix Sleep and why I choose them to be my mattress brand. Helix Sleep's President's Day Sale is running now and it's a great time to upgrade your mattress. You can get 25% off your purchase plus a free bedroom bundle for a limited time. Check out the Helix site for more details. You guys will hear me talk about that site multiple times in this particular scene. Because it's important, you can save a ton of money and you can get the best mattress you've ever slept on. I know that because I've been sleeping on my new Helix. It's not new anymore. About a year and a half old and it still is the best mattress I've ever slept on. There's a 100 night sleep trial to test the mattress out to ensure you love it. Helix mattress includes a 10 year warranty and they offer financing options and flexible payment plans. By far one of the best and most convenient things about Helix Sleep, you can go online and take their sleep quiz. It's super easy, anybody can do it. They match you with the mattress that best fits your needs and then they ship it straight to your house and it's free shipping within the United States. They deliver them straight to your door. They come in a box rolled up so it's super easy to handle in your house. Literally anybody can do it, my kids could do it. I love my Helix mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix Sleep. Their president sale is running now. It's the perfect time to upgrade your sleep with 25% off your Helix mattress plus a free bedroom bundle. Click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash bluegabe to find out more about this limited time offer. You guys, let me tell you something. This boat is exactly what I needed in life. Good buddy of mine, Steve Price, come on. If you follow along, three years ago, him and I did a turkey and turtle video up on the river on his old boat. He's since got a new boat. I got me a new boat. We've been out riding. I've actually let Luke learn how to drive this boat. And if you see, he can get up there in the front by himself, 450 horsepower motor. He can run it and he does it with a smile on his face. Ain't that how we were raised, Steve? That's right, raised our kids the same way we was. Um, just try to teach them if something was to happen that they could get us home safely too, even at that young age. I don't and know I would, if, if- my life was in danger, I would not uh, have a problem trusting that young man driving my boat. Listen folks, if something was wrong with me and he was nervous and he romped on it, there ain't no telling where we'd end up. Well, he, he's gonna have to learn about that. <laughs> LS powwow. Hey, a couple times he got he got to getting on that gas and you can see his smile getting bigger as the harder he pushed. Uh-huh. But he's he's excited. I took him to the grocery store yesterday. I said, Luke, pick your five survival foods for the weekend. What would you pick if you could have five survival foods? Y'all just wait till you see what he picked. Sushi? You pick strawberries. Oh, the clam chowders. No, the clam chowders in there. So he picked strawberry sushi, clam chowder, cookies, and Wait, what? Where's the cookies? They're oh. they're underneath there. Why don't you break that sushi out though? We're hungry. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things I'd I've trust. Heard it all now, sushi in the woods. Yep, but I don't know about um, two day old sushi. Well, yeah, I mean, we might not you struggle. Smell it, I guarantee you. We might not struggle going to the bathroom later. That's got crab in it, son. It's got avocado. You don't she like does. the avocado? No. That's good for you. I'll trust it. So, uh, you know, mm -hmm. born here, raised here, still here. How long you lived in Florida? All my natural life. You love that sushi? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you already into the cookies? So this is number four, and there's number five. If we were surviving, we'd be eating good, Luke. Mm -hmm. So like I said earlier, Crystal's at the rodeo. I think we're gonna go see her tonight. You can see over my shoulder, we got some bad weather coming. Yesterday evening, Luke and I took the boat to a marsh that's really hard to run, and we ran for two hours just to get the feel of the boat, see what temperature it runs, see what RPMs it runs. Y'all, we ran this boat through some bad stuff. What's this island called we're on? Brahma Island. Brahma Island? Brahma Island, yeah. Look at the tracks. Deer tracks on top of deer tracks. A lot of exotics. Um, Fallow deer. deer. Axis deer. Uh, Corsican rams. Buffalo. I have, I've even heard that they turned a lion loose here one time and hunted him. Right now we got a big weather system from the north pushing in. Which sort of ruined our plans because today we were going to go crappie fishing up in Lake Cypress, do all kinds of fun stuff. but. There is no telling what we're gonna end up getting into tonight. So this is two completely different style airboats with about the same motor. This is what they call a Palm Beach hull. This is Steve's boat, obviously. He's got the Cadillac seats, I can tell you that. Yeah, man, they're comfortable. Everything's all about the ride. So, a little sticker at the bottom. I like that old number old seven. Old number seven, Jack Daniels boat. I'm not a whiskey drinker, but I used to be. Yeah. <laughs> So this is a Palm Beach style hole, like I said. He's got a bass boat seat up there he can put in and sit up there and deer hunt out in the marsh. This is Benelli. Yo, Benelli's, I'm gonna get this dog from Steve. Benelli. Get get the dog. Hey, Benelli. It looks like he had an accident. Yeah, on he got a little excited. We jumped a doe in a yearling back there, man, and he was just winding and barking and pooping at the same time. He <laughs> loves a deer now. Benelli. He loves his job. And this is just more of like a standard open riding boat. I think I'm gonna eventually end up building one of these, this boat. I love it to death, but I like the closed deck. So you can see all the stuff that gets in here, bugs and spiders and frogs and just debris, which isn't a big deal. It doesn't take long to clean it. Wait till you come across a little baby moccasin in there. Oh yeah, I have before, but <laughs> you can see his boat doesn't get all of that. Right now, we're just enjoying what we got. We're appreciative. That's right, blessed to say we're, the least. We're blessed. One more prey, one more day. You never know who you'll run into here on the lake. Y'all, there's Cam, Chad, Tyla. <laughs> Tyla, did I say it right <laughs> this time? Right. You guys, I never get names right. Tyla, they're just out riding, having a good time. It's What's me, your friend's right? name? Michelle. Michelle. She's from Canada. She just showed up in the marsh in South Florida and said, it's in the bag. <laughs> we were looking for a bottle of water. She said, it's in the bag. I said, what? The bag. You melt snow into water. And then water. she said something about a hag. Yeah. <laughs> I told her it's whole. She's in the wrong country to be speaking that accent and not expect to get some laughs. So we're going to ride. We're going to jump up in this marsh and look around for a hog, maybe a deer. You can't shoot them on the run though, Luke. You're out of luck. You might need to drive so I can shoot. Okay. That kid's goofy. So we just pulled up. We're gonna have us a little fire and cook some hot dogs. Got some other people over here. 
just hanging out some other kids up here on the marsh sometimes there'll be thousands of airboats out here riding today there's not that many because of that rain that's coming but there's still enough to be young again folks Just as I tell everybody I'm filming, Luke that, said that should be sharp enough. That my hot dog? Yeah, you want another one? Yeah, I need another hot dog, man. Only. We just made us a fire right here. Everybody's enjoying it. It's cold, cool, at least chilly, except for Luke. He's hot, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Is your <laughs> new knife hot. sharp or what? Huh? Cam's trying to whittle. I mean, Cam, you got to be a pro to make a hot dog <laughs> stick like this. How come every single one of us has a jacket? But me, it's oh, hot yeah, out. Man. That's a good thing. Because you've been rolling down the hill. So we just I made this fire out of just some willow branches, some palm palm sticks, cooking our last hot dog. Tyla just made a good point. I know Crystal's wishing she was here. We got mm -hmm. strawberries and cookies and sushi. Who brings sushi on an airboat? <laughs> Only Luke will bring sushi on an airboat. <laughs> I guess yeah, we got back to camp. Me anything that I want, five choices from Publix, anything that I wanted to eat. You got it. Good I know choice. you did that. We got some banana pudding win? back at camp. Banana pudding? <laughs> I made it last night, thanks to Crystal. Oh my gosh. Banana pudding is my it, favorite, right? but the weather's getting ready to move in, so next time we see you, we'll be doing something else. We won't be on this airboat. It's about to get nasty. Oh yeah. Right here, let me get him. Where's, there it is. Look at that, son. Well, as you can tell, we're not on the airboat anymore. You see right over my shoulder? That's Brad Gibson with G3 Outfitters. You guys, we put the airboat up. The weather turned really bad. We came to Okeechobee. Brad was actually off. He does charters here on the lake, and I'll put all of his information in the link below. If you want to come do this, he'll put you on the meat. Big bass and huge crappie, a.k.a. Specs, on Lake Okeechobee. We've been fishing for like 10 minutes, and this is Luke's fourth one. This is bad. It's bad, huh? So you've seen Brad and I fish together in a ton of videos, but you've never seen us fish like this. This is something new that Brad's doing on the lake. It's a lot more kid friendly. You can bring women, whatever. It's not the annoying jigging that we normally do. This is super easy and super productive. Throw him in here, Luke. Don't wear face. He almost jumped out. He might end up in the frying pan. He's gonna end up in the frying pan, son. So we decided to fish. We wanted a little meat for the freezer and some to eat tonight. That's what we're doing. He's got a 16 foot rod, an eight foot rod, and a six foot rod. All of them's got, turkey. and a sea turkey, huh? Oh, look. Luke, that one, you, this is your side, Luke, and you just missed a big one. All these rods are ACC crappie sticks. You've seen them on my videos. Brad uses them. All the good guys here in Okeechobee use them. Get him, Luke. Brad's got, he's got live scope up there and he can see these fish. Hold him up high, Luke. Put your rod Pick your rod there. tip up. Right there. There you go. Now Leave it real. just like that. Whoa. Son, that's a big one. Hey, just hold your rod here. It's real. Not just real. Is this it's a, a giant? This is a giant. Luke. He's pulling drag, Luke. Did, is he? Did he get hung in something? No. An alligator, oh, an alligator eat him? No, he's like a two-pounder. Pick your rod tip up, Luke. Keep your rod tip bent, just like oh, that. Don't pump you him. don't need to pump him. We're not fighting kingfish here. Clips. It's real, 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 real. Look at the size of this one, Luke. Let's fade up. Pick your rod, fade up. Fade up, fade up. There you go. <laughs> Swing him around here. Look at that big one. Jeez. Look at that one. Hold him by his lips. Don't drop him. Your fans are watching. Show the show the camera, Luke. Big old big one. That's a big. That might be your biggest crappie ever. I'm gonna go up here and run the trolling motor for a second. This live scope right here is gonna change the game, folks. So this is showing everything out there, from the bottom up to the surface. If we pass a fish, you'll see him right there. There's a fish, and then you know how deep he is. He's about six and a half foot deep. Homeboy right here is in a lake. He must, his wife must have told him he needed to be at dinner. He was letting it rip, Luke. I think he's dead. Oh, he's not. All right, stop reeling. Stop reeling now. Just pick him up, swing him straight to me. 
Got him. Look at that. That's a, that's a Luke size crappie. For those of y'all that follow along really, really good, three years ago we filmed a video right there on my old airboat, on my Diamondback, me, Luke, and Jake. Can't remember who else. We were right there. What was it? Ryan was there. Oh yeah, Ryan and Brad was there. You were there too. Yeah, we all filmed one right there three years ago on the old airboat. Here's the question. Why is your side the only side catching fish? Because you don't got no bait on your side. What? I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. Oh, I got junk on this one. Look, this one's gonna be bigger than yours. I don't look like it. Oh, this is definitely bigger than Luke's. That's the smallest. This is like Luke's, only smaller. Little baby. Oh, gosh! Oh, oh big one, Gabe, big oh. one. Get him. That's a big one, Gabe. Look at that rod. He's wrapping around the boat. That's got to be a big one. This has got to be a bass. It's something big, whatever it is. Is it a turtle? Catfish? Oh, it's a catfish. Got a catfish. First one I've caught in like two weeks. <laughs> you get it today. This rod is something serious. It's like a canal rocket. Catfish! Look, y'all, Luke catches big old crappie and I'm catching a catfish. Get him. Oh, yeah. Keep that rod tip up. I can tell you guys 100% fact, Luke's side is smoking me. I've caught one catfish. He's caught about... Like another big one too. Yeah, he's, this is probably his sixth one. All right, reel down, reel down. A little bit more. Now swing him up. Another keeper. This is starting to get ridiculous. Like... <laughs> I'm trying to catch a fish, Luke, and I can't even catch one. It's just one after another. And as y'all can tell, we done switched sides. We're going back to the south again, and Luke's still catching them. I mean, one after another. You little show off. You guys, he's smoking us, like straight smoking us. Well, me, Brad ain't even fishing. He's smoking me. I think Brad's giving him the secret bait though. Well, what would you know? Luke's hooked up again. With the 20 foot canal rocket rod. That rod's so long you can fish in your neighbor's yard and never leave yours. Stop reeling, stop reeling. Pick him straight up. Oh, you just did a good job doing that. You got one on my rod? Yeah. <laughs> I finally get one and you steal it. We must have went through a school of them. Yeah. Luke, I'm about to put you in time out. This is getting ridiculous. What does he have? That's good right Luke. Got a little fake, fake rod. Swing him over here to me. I got him right here. Swing him right here. Straight up, straight up. Oh, perfect. Like <laughs> another keeper. <laughs> if you guys for a second think that we're joking around, we have the same amount of rods out, the same baits, Everything's the same except for my side ain't catching them. I have caught like one. Dad, that wasn't my side. That was his side. That's your side. This is your side. That's your side. I know, and my side ain't catching none. About tired of it. This is favoritism. We got a big old sailboat right there, look. Dad. <laughs> what is that? What? Hold on. What is this? We're going to get real close to see what that is. <laughs> He's only Why are you laughing at me right now? You don't catch the big one. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if I've ever caught a crappie this small in my life. That's doing something, He's folks. the size of the jig. We have been fishing for about an hour and a half and have flat tore their butts up. Well, we haven't. Luke has. If you guys want to come do this with your kids or some of your buddies or your wife or whoever, this is one of the funnest things I've done in a while. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rods out, and these things are getting whacked. 
we got a cooler full of fish or a bait well full of fish and we're still going all of brad's information will be in the link in the description below listen folks y'all have already seen catching up with cam with youtube you've seen steve price team real cowboy wait till you see the crew i got sitting at the table tonight mr tugboat ian his wife crystal my beautiful girlfriend crystal and my son jake what happened to luke uh, we lost him here Y'all traded him in. <laughs> Look, Luke, Luke grew him a beard, folks. <laughs> so my parents came by, they're going to Georgia. They hijacked the entire cooler of crappie. If they didn't, Ian would have though. If you guys don't know who Ian is, what's your YouTube channel? Tug Trash Outdoors. You guys, you know who he is. You watch his stuff. You know his wife, Crystal. I got sidetracked. Look at my meal, folks. We <laughs> haven't sat down and made a table like this in a long time. We got some green beans, sauteed in coconut oil, some chicken that I tried to put on the grill, but the grill wouldn't work, so I baked it. A salad, some beautiful bread, Crystal's favorite tomatoes. tomatoes. There was a lot more cucumbers there, <laughs> but I, I was eating them because I didn't know we weren't supposed to. <laughs> Thank you, dear God, for this day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for letting us be able to gather here and eat this wonderful meal. And please help it to nourish our bodies and please help us to be safe and have a good time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 You guys, I just forgot the most important thing oh, I the, made. The oh. potatoes. The potatoes. Oh. Now, if you guys think I didn't cook, just looked at my, look at my kitchen. Let me tell you all something about these right here though. Let me tell you guys, these are my Blue Gabe Signature Series oh. potato oh, skins. Dinner. Oh, well, thank you. Dinner. Didn't know. I guess we got to bring oh, the tray over. The whole tray? Yeah, let's grab Weird. the whole tray. They're not hot. <laughs> Jake said he volunteered to do the dishes, so that's a good thing. Is that Want to grab one? Are they hot? Here. Oh, thank you. Thank oh, you. they're so good. Thank oh, you. they are the bomb. So Look at poor Redneck over there. Oh, Redneck, yeah. come here. He's a good boy. Come here, Redneck. You want, you want one? You want one? All right, bon appetit, everybody. So Ian and Crystal came down. They had an Airbnb rented here. They're YouTubers like you already know. They were going to plan on just hunting and fishing and doing all kinds of cool stuff. Well, I don't know what the hurricane that hit us today is called or if it is a hurricane, but it dropped about four inches of rain and it's not even halfway done. So I invited them over for dinner. They were down at the Miami Boat Show today and here we are. So we're going to enjoy dinner. <laughs> but before we go, can you judge my potato skin on a 1 to 10, please? Because oh, okay. if you guys don't know, Ian is quite the chef. That's I, He started on TikTok because of cooking. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, just from watching you make it, there's the appropriate amount of bacon in this. <laughs> and potatoes, or obviously potatoes, mm. but there's onions, mushrooms. Yeah. And, some... and you sauteed the onions and mushrooms up first. Perfect. 10 out of 10. A little bit of salsa verde mixed mm -hmm. in there. Is what do you think? That was? Cause that's good. Well, yeah. I think the yeah. mushrooms is what makes it really good. Well, yeah. Crystal's white. I mean, y'all can tell she's white, but she was born, I think, Mexican. Or <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how to appropriately say it without offending anybody. But if she had her way, everything yeah. would be cooked Mexican style. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, spicy. that's not a bad thing. The spicy is better. I like I like like me a little Mexican food. Yeah, she does too. The only thing, they're just kind of bland. Like what? Are you the, <laughs> bacon, the bacon is salty, but other than did that, you just call bland. me out? Yes, it's you're bland. sleeping on the. You, I don't even know if I'm gonna let you. Sleep. How can they be bland? They have so much stuff to them. He Here, said you need to season it a little bit more Mexican. You gotta channel your inner Mexican. <laughs> the potato itself is bland, but the bacon is good. Everything's good. It just needs more, more bacon. <laughs> you never critique me like that. I well. I'm calling you out. There's like a quarter cup of bacon <laughs> in every stuff. single one of these things. Literally, like how do you get bland out of that? Listen, this chicken, dang, that's good. How about the green beans? That's about my favorite part of the whole dinner though. I didn't get any of those yet. The chicken's I, really flavorful. Mm. I started trying to eat my salad because I was trying to be all polite. <laughs> and then everybody else is like just into the potato skins and everything. And I'm like, well, all there's, right. There's no polite at this table. <laughs> you guys, that was one heck of a meal but as you can tell the rain has stopped but what hasn't stopped is the wind look at that it's about 65 degrees here in florida and blowing a sustained 20 to 25 miles an hour and that's going to present a problem because most of you already know we're going to venice louisiana this weekend but we homeschool our kids so we've got to get a bunch of schoolwork done this week so they don't have to do any next week i don't know how i'll fit in another video for next week so 
you guys might have to bear with me. I might have a whole week where I don't upload a video, but when I get back from Louisiana, I'll have so many videos to put up, I'll just cram them down y'all's throat. Right now though, this video is ending. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Be patient because I got a lot more videos coming. But until next time, we'll be seeing y'all. Thanks for watching.